Today I will talk about the creating of embryos. Hi, my name is Dr. Vaseem Andravi. As infertile couples uh, go to visit the fertility clinics, it's very important for them to know about the embryo quality. The embryos uh, which we generate in our lab, we grade them on either day three or either day five. <clears throat> so it completely depends upon what stage we are freezing them or what stage we are transferring them. Starting from day three, if we have embryos uh, with uh, less fragmentation, almost no fragmentation and the cell number are equal, the blastomere size is equal and the cell number is seven to nine cells, it is considered to be A grade embryo, day three embryo. So we will grade them as grade A, eight cell, seven cell or nine cell embryo. Similarly talking about B grade embryos, we have a little bit of fragmentation, usually five to 15, 10% fragmentation. In, in B grade embryos, day three embryos, we check the cell size and the fragmentation. If the fragmentation is little less, little less than 10% or 15%, then we grade them as B grade embryos, day three embryos. Similarly, if the fragmentation is more than 20% to 50%, then we grade them as grade C embryos. The next topic will be on the types, on the gradings of blastocyst. In blastocyst, we check the trophectoderm and the ICM, which are very important in the grading and the expansion of the blastocyst. Usually from day three, to day five, the embryos try to expand. Once they expand, then the stage of expansion, we say it as three, four, five, or six. If it is in the three stage, it will be not, the expansion stage will be similar like as day three embryos with the, the, uh, with the visual uh, trophectoderm as well as the ICM. However, in grade, in grade four, we have fully expanded blastocyst, which has like this outer covering, which is called a zona pellicuda. It thins and it tries to expand, forming a big ball inside with a cavity inside, uh, blastocyst cavity. Similarly, when we talk about grade five stage, now, it becomes so big the cells try to hatch they try to come out this is the natural hatching process where the cells come out after that the sixth stage is when the embryos completely hatches out of the zona pellicuda the outer layer that is called the sixth stage so that was about the number which we grade them now the next thing is day five if we say three then after that we see the icm if the icm is the good quality is like a mushroom shaped uh, and all centrally lo uh, located uh, or it can be sideways located but it is located in a particular place uh, mushroom type it's called a grade however if it is a little less then we term it as b grade and if there is slight or very less uh, icm then we see it as c grade so now we can say it as 3a 4a or 5a or 6a now the second uh, part third part is the trophectoderm if the cohesiveness of the trophectoderm cells is very good uh, on the edges then we term it uh, as a great blastocyst a great trophectoderm then we can write it as 4 if a icm is a grade 4 a a and trophectoderm is a that means 4 a a Similarly, if the ICM is B grade, we can write it as 4B and trophectoderm is good grade, we say it as 4BA. And accordingly, if the trophectoderm cells are not completely overlapping with each other, the cohesiveness is not there, we term it as B. So in that case, we will grade them as 4AB, 4BB or 4CB. The next is the C grade where you will see the cells, they are not joined by each other. 
there will be an one cell which is like couple of cells which will be outside the cell number is very less but if your icm is very healthy then we still transfer them then we can term we can write them as 4 ac 4 bc or 4 cc depending upon the type of uh, the m the blastocyst we have in milan the fertility center greater chaos too in delhi we provide our patients with latest technologies and every effort to the modern equipments which we which are available in the market so if you have any question please comment on our question series like and subscribe to our channel for further videos thank you so much